Formula SAE is a collegiate competition aimed to test the creativity of aspiring professionals from around the world. Students give up typical college social lives to work day and night with plans of enhancing their team's success. Starting from scratch, Formula SAE members design, manufacture, and race a Formula-style car, competing against teams spanning the globe. At the annual Michigan competition alone, there are 120 teams from various countries that enter. The end goal is to make a name for your school, your team, and yourself. Attempt one, I meant, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, jumping off of a car. <laughs> yeah, woo! Oh. <laughs> That is awesome! <laughs> yeah, baby! Woo! So, I found out about the club through a friend that was already going to UNF. I, had, I wasn't here yet. I was actually still at community college here in town. And uh, we were thinking about starting up the club, uh, but we found that there was this group of guys that were already getting it together. So, a friend of mine decided to say, hey, you want to come out to a meeting? I had been talking with Ben Whitten about starting a club like this. Um, and. Uh, thinking about starting one and all of a sudden I see a poster on the wall that says, you know, want to drive race cars? Join our club or something to the effect of that. And so I ended up going to the second meeting. It wasn't the first meeting. Well, this has already been going on for, I think, uh, somewhere, somewhere in spring semester. Um, and uh, I saw Justin Tussie in the student union talking to a gra some graphic designer uh, student. And I overheard her talking about SAE. And, uh, I uh, went to UCF for a couple of years and I heard about the team over there uh, and never really got involved with it. And uh, overhearing him, I said, uh, you yeah, know, I decided to say, why not? You know, uh, so the first time I heard about the club was uh, Justin Tussie was in my, I think it was my thermodynamics class. And I'm pretty sure it was him and Peter, Peter Serretta came in. And uh, when I came into class, there was like a race car on the board or something about, you know, who wants to build a race car? No, Peter Strider is probably a little ridiculous. Um, like, who wouldn't want to join a club where you just build a race car? So, when the club started, it was just a really energetic group of guys that was really doing something that a lot of people didn't think they could because they were building a car on basically no budget, no support. Um, it isn't what it is right now with the, the budget, with the all the sponsors, with the help. So they were trying to figure out how to make a $30,000 car with probably you know, $5,000 or $10,000 or less. So the club started when I first came to UNF and uh, <clears throat> we had our Thermodynamics 2 class and the first day of class we were covering the engine cycles. 
so you can tell uh, who the gearheads in the class were because they're getting really excited about the questions. And um, so it just after class, I just went up to the group of people. He stood up in fluids class essentially and said, "You know, I want to, uh, I want to start." Or he basically said, "I just want to build a race." Yeah, this guy Peter Serretta stood up and he said, "Yeah, that sounds really cool." I want to be, if there's a club, I want to be the vice president. I said, okay, well, I'll find out what needs to happen. And so he came up to me and asked me about it. And then I said, okay, well, why don't we start a club around it? You know, uh, why don't we, um, you know, do that. That way we can get funding. That way you can have the school backing you. And uh, so we did that. This is the first day of school, and I said, um, hey, you guys want to build a race car? And then Peter's like, I want to be the vice president. I think if that had not had happened, I don't think the club would have, would, have, would have started because it, it was just an idea and I think if people had just been like, oh yeah, that sounds cool, I probably just would have like walked away. But Peter's like, no, I will be the vice president. I said, well, if this guy wants to be the vice president, that's that's serious. I need to find out what this means. I got to be the president. I, I got to like find out what, what I'm actually talking about here. And then, you know, the rest is history. Yeah, we very hear ambitious. That was, I mean, that was, that's what it takes to start a club like this from scratch. I mean, it's... It's a, uh, you know, with the budgets we have in SAE for all the teams throughout the world doing this formula in SAE, um, it's a very tough thing to compete against those budgets. So to, to try to do that and to take on that project, it's a big undertaking. A lot of people didn't think necessarily that they were going to follow through with it. That they probably started and said, oh, you're interested, you're just going to do it and fizzle out. But they were committed. One of my proudest moments, I had many proud moments in SD, but one of my proudest moments, it, it has to be finishing endurance. I mean, that's what you want. That's what that's your goal. Three years before, we had no idea how to build a car. We were making goals for a car we planned to build was finish endurance. That's like your biggest milestone for a young team. And to do that in our second car ever. Uh, the happiest moment of uh, some of the members in the club and including me and something that I will cherish is that moment when uh, Ben went and finished endurance and we're walking out of the uh, driving area and it was just the whole team and Ben had the biggest grin on his face and so did everybody else. I mean, uh, I think Mike McCollum had his fist up in the air and it was just the weird. feeling of passing the uh, checkered flag and uh, pulling up to uh, a stop seeing a group of guys, the ones that were allowed in the back, but a group of guys running at you, yeah, excited, uh, ecstatic about finishing something that they worked for the whole year. Some of us more than that, we've been with the club for three years, hoping for that moment. The, uh, the focus of uh, the 2014 team, 53, was to switch from designing for reliability to designing for performance. The, the new members, the team, they they realize that they need a lot of data analysis uh, and they need to bring that up to competition. And uh, through the mistakes of the previous years and the good stuff that we've done as well, uh, I think they're really soaking that in now. And you could see that in the 2014 car. I mean, there was there was a lot more stuff that had data behind it. I mean, uh, we had a senior design team design the whole cooling system. The car this year did a little worse than the car before it, but I think that's going to change in the future, and I think it's just one of those things where as the car goes on in the future, trial and error, people are going to make mistakes. One just try to include younger members into this year, this year's car was something that we really tried to do and uh, I feel like we accomplished that and now this year's team is going to be uh, probably, fingers crossed, uh, a top, top 20 team that like we were trying to accomplish last year. But I think that overall it will move in a positive direction as far as this year ahead there's a lot of motivated people and there's more motivated people now than I've seen in a while. So, expecting good things. Got it better now than me down in this one.